<clears throat> All right, we're gonna show how to model this tube chair, uh, which we saw in class. So to start off, uh, we're gonna use a regular box, and here I have one created, but I'll start from scratch. So we'll create a new box here, and um, I'll just go ahead and check my dimensions off the old one. So here I have a length of 28, width of 22, and height of 34. So length 28, width 22, and height 34. And then we're adding two height segments. And uh, these two uh, height segments are going to represent the seat and then the bend in the backrest um, back here. So if we look at it from the side this uh, second edge up is going to help us rep uh, create this bend here. Alright, so uh, next I'm going to right click in my viewport and in my case I'm going to hide unselected so that I have just this box. Okay, and I'm going to move my box to the origin point and here rather than typing the values in I just right clicked on the little arrows. Alright, next we're going to go to the modify tab then the modifier list here and add an edit poly modifier right now we have access to the sub object levels we're going to select uh, one of the edges here and then use loop selection okay so that selects our edge all the way around and then I'm going to open the transform type in window by right clicking the move tool icon up at the top here and change this location on the Z to 18 inches uh, which is a standard seat height okay and then we'll select the other uh, edge do a loop selection and this edge is going to go up to about 31 inches our, our overall height is uh, 34 so this just means that our little bend is going to happen at 30 31 inches off the floor okay so now we go and make a series of um, edge selections to uh, make our tube frame so here I want to switch from move tool to select only. Uh, reason being, if we uh, if we're selecting it and we we accidentally click and hold a button, we can move an edge. So you want to instead use the select only tool. Okay, so here we can select one edge, then hold the control key on your keyboard, and start selecting the edges all the way around. Okay, so here I'll go wireframe so we can see how we traced out the edge of the chair. Oh, here I, I got an extra edge here that I don't need, so I have to deselect it. So hold the Alt key now and select that one. Okay, so now we're going to go to um, Create Shape Settings tool here, so to the right of the button. Then let's rename this. So let's say this is our chair tubing okay and set to linear type and hit OK All right so if you notice our red selected edges now look brown and that's because it's now a separate object so here we can disable this uh, edge selection mode and uh, right click hide right click hide selection okay so now we're left with just our spline okay now here we can go into the vertex level switch to a side view and grab these vertices at the back uh, bottom um, of the backrest and move them forward so we can go something like maybe eight inches and then move uh, select these other vertices here at the top and we'll move these as well and uh, here as I'm moving it I'm looking at the value down here so I can see roughly how much I'm moving so let's say like three inches on the Y. So here I'm going to type it in. So let's say minus three, enter. Okay, and uh, yeah, let's go a little bit more. Let's say minus one. Oh, wait. Um, see the, the gizmo adjust as we rotate or switch the viewport. So, okay, now my, my Y is pointing that way again. So here, minus one. All right. 
Okay, so now we select all vertices and in the fillet, let's try a fillet of two inches. Okay, so that rounded all of our vertices. And if I redo that, it's here I just press Control Z to undo that. So we can either use a selection fence around everything, or we can press Control plus A, and that's the window shortcut for select all. And then in the fillet tool, we're typing two inches, then enter. Okay. Now under the rendering rollout here, we're going to expand this and enable both of these, uh, enable in render and enable in viewport. And so this turns our line work into tubing. Okay, so next step is to add an edit poly modifier. So here we're in modify list, edit poly. Okay, and then we're going to make a selection of polygons that will represent our backrest and our seat. Okay, so something like that. Now we're gonna go look for detach here. Okay, so detach settings. And let's name this, so let's say fabric or upholstery, something along those lines. And here it's important that you select detach as clone. Hit okay. So now if I click here, see now we have a separate object and if I try to move it, you'll see that my original geometry is still there. Alright, so now I want to, let's change the color of the fabric, so let's make that like green, just something that will contrast. And uh, I can also uh, right click, hide unselected, so that this way I'm looking at just these objects. Okay, so now this is an editable poly. We're going to switch to polygon sub object selection. And here we're going to select the inner half of the tube on both sides. Okay, so here I'm holding control and just doing a selection fence. And we can double check to make sure that we've selected just the inner half. Okay. And then we're going to click bridge. Alright, so next is um, we got to delete these extra faces that we have on the end. So these faces here on the end we don't need, so just go ahead and select these. Here, switch back to selection tool, select one and hold control, and select the other ones. And then press the delete key on your keyboard, and do the same for the other side. So select one, hold control, click the rest, press delete. All right, and then let's do the backrest. So click and hold your mouse button, drag a selection fence. Okay, and then do the other side, hold control now. All right, and then double check that you didn't accidentally grab anything else. Okay, and then we hit bridge. And we have to deal with the same uh, faces on the end. So here we select one, then hold control, click the rest. Okay, press delete, do the same on the bottom, select one, hold control, click the rest, make sure you didn't accidentally select anything uh, other than those that you intend to, and then press delete. And next we're going to add a shell modifier, so we're back to the modifier list, scroll down, look for shell, okay, and uh, it defaulted to one inch in my case, which I don't want, so let's go something thinner. And here I used one eighth of an inch. Uh, and again, uh, if you don't know decimals, um, I just happen to remember these, but you could also just type one sixteenth and hit enter. Okay. And uh, then we can add a turbo smooth modifier just to smooth the edges out. So here, turbo smooth, have a look at the edge here. Maybe we need two or three iterations. Oops. Just stick with three. Right, so now if I right click unhide all, I have. I uh, notice it's slightly different than the other version, but uh, that's okay. We're just trying to show the uh, process, and the steps to uh, create this model. Uh, you you could just use more specific dimensions, uh, depending on what you were trying to do. But anyway, so hi this is the new chair here the new uh, fabric, the new tubing 
and the box that I use. So I selected all three. Notice up here it says three objects selected. I'm going to right click, hide unselected. And I just want to point out that the box I had was uh, 22 inches wide. But because the line became a one inch thick tube, my, the uh, overall width of my chair tubing is actually plus one inch. So rather than it being 21, 22 inches, it's really 23 inches from the outside of this edge to the outside of this edge. So that's just something to consider. If you wanted your chair to be exactly 22 inches wide, then you would have had to start with a box that was 21 inches wide. Uh, Alternatively, you could just move the vertices on the tubing. But here, if I right, if I right click, hide this box. So here's our, our chair. And notice here I have a little issue. Um, the turbo smoothing made the, the fabric uh, intersect the tubing. So we can counteract this just by making the shell a little bit thicker. So here, turn the turbo smooth back on. And let's just increase our outer amount. So let's try. 0.125, 1 eighth of an inch, or here we could type 1 eighth, enter. And that just made it thick enough so that the fabric is, is not um, interfering with the tubing anymore. Okay, just check it in a few spots here, looks okay. All right, so that's the chair.